Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I am back yet again for yet another Mattel Masters of the Universe He-Man Origins video, and I know it's been a long time since we've looked at a full wave, but I finally completed wave 12, and we're gonna go a little bit out of order, but not to worry, right? Snake Armor Skeletor is the first figure, he's poisoned with power, and he's from the Snake Men subline within the He-Man Origins line. On the back side of the packaging, it'll tell you how to twist him into powerful battle positions, all the other characters in the wave, and gorgeous artwork with a little bit of a bio saying that this armor allows him to be mind-controlled by King Hiss. Little twist there, huh? Roboto, heroic mechanical warrior. He is a repaint, re-release in his old-school comic book colors. A little bit of orange, he's got a little heart on his chest, but equally as awesome artwork, right? Wouldn't mind it too bad and whatever that vehicle is in the background. Now, what I'm really enjoying are the snake peoples, right? You got Tongue Lasher. He's a creature with a venomous tongue, pink, purple skin, all kinds of crazy colors. That's what really pops out to me about the He-Man Origins line. He-Man in general, right? But the artwork still wouldn't mind whatever that yellow and blue guy is, right? You also have a Sun Man, Rulers of the Sun figure, Hypno, and he looks interesting you'll see more on that in just a few but uh, yeah you can take off his helmet he's got his wand of mesmeration and i uh, wouldn't mind the comic book colors for that guy as well right so duplico he's the heroic duplicator he was also a walmart exclusive and an equal pain in the butt to get a hold of if you see the card in its entirety you'll definitely see that that was delivered by walmart now he has a little bit of a different thing going on not only does he have Really cool artwork versus Pig Head and Snake Armor Skeletor, but he replaces Hypno on the back of the card. Also, if that's not Shockwave from the Transformers, I don't know who is. Now, they do call it a Power Saw, but I think he's just wielding Shockwave at this point, right? So, just keep that in mind. Very cool overall. And yes, as you can see, the differences: Duplico on one, Hypno on the other. So, he's kind of a part of the wave we'll say so in the meantime though this is going to be an absolute blast sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of he coffee this is a look at wave 12 of the mattel masters of the universe he-man origins line now i have to say in recent weeks we've been taking a look at a lot of superhero toys right and those are great but to have all five of these now out of the packaging this was a breath of fresh air the colors, the accessories, anything can happen in this world of He-Man, and that's what really makes it exciting and just wackadoo, right? So we'll kick it off with Hypno. Now, he comes with his bird. It's all silver. This is one where I wish they would have added a little bit more paint. It's kind of smiling, too. This, to be quite honest with you, I thought, okay, it's obviously a hypnotic sort of deal. But it kind of looks like a giant lollipop, right? And you spin it just like that. And you can control and mind control and whatever else that he does. You do get his helmets. It's a bit of a, a gummy, rubbery helmet. It's totally cool. It's just orange. Hypno himself. He kind of reminds me of a little bit of Native American, a little bit of Mesoamerica, right? Aztec, a little bit sort of deal. He's got the stars on the boots. Which actually does match the artwork, so I'm not too hard up about that. He has weapon storage for his hypnotic piece. No, it doesn't go that way. It's got to go that way. And you have the helmets, the hypno piece, and the bird. And it's totally wackadoo, but it's a lot of fun, right? It does kind of remind me of Shirley Temple, though, if I'm being quite honest. Because that, that's a giant lollipop. We can all agree on that. Now, with Tongue Lasher, you get the same sort of snake staff we've seen now in purple. Kind of reminds you of Skeletor's Havoc staff. Now, you get this totally wackadoo device, right? And essentially, you're going to shoot an arrow, but it's in the shape of a dragonfly. And that is totally the kind of weapon that I would expect for a frog snake man to have. That's what's fun about this. There's a hole in the bottom. Those don't go together. I don't know what it's for. Anyways, you have a tongue. And if you look at the packaging, you plug tongue into mouth. Simple as that, right? It goes right in there. And that's awesome. It's like a poisonous looking terror frog, right? I love the colors. This is my favorite figure out of the bunch. It's got a great sculpt, great paint. It's that old fashioned 80s 
wackadoo-ness, right? Even down to the backside of this character. The sculpt is tremendous. The tongue is awesome. He's got these three-prong hands. It's awesome. This is a very fun toy. And again, such a standout from what we've seen from He-Man. Now, I would appreciate a button on the back. Maybe it flicked his tongue around. That would have been kind of cool. But it's the same exact articulation. With the weapons, you kind of have to finagle it a little bit, especially with this one. His grip is too wide. But once you get them in there, he's just an awesome toy. Now, moving on, we have Duplico, which again, I'll reiterate, is a Walmart exclusive and a total pain in the butt to get a hold of. He, too, has the stars on the boots. Basically, all the Sun Man figures do. They kind of just picked a body and went with it. Now, with this weapon on the back, it doesn't come off the string. It just kind of coils around. And again, I'll say, that's Shockwave, but a blue version of Shockwave. I'm not complaining. I think that that is rad. Duplico doesn't really fit in the He-Man universe, as far as I'm concerned. Sure, he comes from the Sun Man universe. I totally get it. And they've merged the two but he just doesn't have anything going on besides just having the wackadoo gun. But in other case, it's fine for what it is. Now with Roboto, you get the same exact attachments as you saw with the first release. You have an axe, you got a little claw grabby thing. It's all in silver plastic. There's no paint on it. And it just simply clips in where the other weapons go in his hand. And again, very cool overall. I like the heart. I mean, at least it differentiates him a little bit. The colors are interesting at least it's eye-catching i do feel like he's missing something though he's very stark on the front but at least he has the movement that you would expect right you have all the different parts and pieces that move but when you twist him at the waist you get to see all the gears are going and that's what makes it for a fun toy and that's what makes the he-man origins line a lot of fun they still have these old-fashioned toy gimmicks and i totally appreciate that and when you pop the hands he could fit every other weapon on him. That's kind of cool. I do wish that you could swap out the hands on either side. But at the same time, it is what it is. Comic book colors for Roboto. Now, the last figure is the Snake Armor Skeletor. And he comes with a sweet purple shield. And I really dig the way this came out. I like the simplicity of the He-Man Origins weapons, accessories, right? It's just basic stuff. It doesn't have to be too crazy. This right here, though, is one of those rare misses where... They're calling it a fanged blade. It kind of looks like one of those dog throw ball things, right? A little bit of a cricket bat too, to call it a blade? Yeah, I don't know about that. Also kind of Batman Beyond-ish, right? From the winning edge? <laughs> it is what it is. Totally crazy. But Snake Armor Skeletor, I'm not always a big fan of when they do variants, right? Where they go, oh, let's put this armor on this character and then... This is another one where it's just a lot of fun. He really stands out. He's got some really cool sculpted head action going on. The armor is pretty sweet. So it adds a lot to just the basic, hi, I'm Skeletor. Watch the vest and everything else. That'll pop out if you pull on it and whatnot. You can just redo the straps. You get the shield. You get the dog ball thrower. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Now, I'm just going to point out. Now, I'm totally on board for the craziness that is He-Man Origins. And for the most part, it's totally awesome. But the comic books that come with all the other figures, right? This one being Hypno, right? And that particular line. And then with Duplico, you get your different comic book. He's the only one that has this. It is insane. The backstories making no sense. The artwork making no sense. A lot of times I read it and I was like, what is happening? It just jumps from blah, 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 right? So, just something to point out. I have no idea who these characters are. <laughs> In either case, though, this has been an absolute blast. I'm looking forward to getting even more He-Man figures. Stay tuned. Coming up on September 5th, if you come around my YouTube channel, I will have a look at an upcoming He-Man Origins figure. Just FYI, a little bit of a tease. But in either case, you've heard my thoughts. And now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything He-Man Origins and all the craziness that they encompass. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I can't wait to have Snake Mountain and Eternia and put it all together. And then maybe we'll be done. When we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.